The time for you to replace your center serving on your bow. Well, stay tuned for this video. We're gonna show you how to do it quick and easy, super cheap, and we're gonna do it the right way. Guys, we're gonna be going through this, showing you how to reserve and put a new center serving on your bow. That way you can get out there and start slinging arrows again. The first thing you're gonna need is a serving jig or a serving tool. You can find these on Amazon, ranging 10 to 15 bucks for just a cheap one. That's what this one is. I'll put the link in the description box. Another thing, just a little razor blade and a lighter. Use the lighter to burn off the ends on the serving. And that's essentially it. That is all the tools you need to get this done. Okay, aside from the tools, you're gonna want some type of bow press or something to support the bow. You don't necessarily need this thing to be pressed. This is our DIY bow press. Please check out the link above. You can find out how to build one of these really quick and easy for 40 bucks. So another thing you wanna do to allow yourself to have enough room to work is go ahead and tie down your cables. And I just used a piece of paracord, wrench this down, tied it. And what that's gonna do is allow you to have enough working area to get this jig to go through there. You could imagine if this weren't tied down, it'd be up here. You wouldn't be able to get it through there unless you turned it sideways. But we wanna have nice, easy access to wrap this around. So go ahead and tie the cables out of the way. Went ahead and cut off the serving material that was on there before. Really quick and easy, all you have to do is take a razor blade. Just be sure not to cut your bowstring. So that would be a terrible mistake if you did that. Just keep in mind uh, where that blade is. Just cut off a couple pieces of the strands on the end, and then you'll be able to take off the whole serving in just one piece. So the very first step is to go ahead and mark, and I forgot to mention that you might want something to mark with. It's not necessarily a tool or anything, so I didn't count it in that category, but you want a good piece of serving here. So one good rule of thumb is where the crook of the handle is, I like to go down about two inches from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mark here. And it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. I mean, the more serving you have on there, the less likely that serving is gonna slide or anything like that. So the next spot I like to go to is, if you can imagine where the cable slide was, and I went ahead and removed this. Typically, you wanna go about an inch and a half to two inches above that on most bows. So that's where we're gonna mark this one off at. About two inches above. And I forgot to mention, I went ahead and took this off and it just made getting those cables out of the way a little bit easier. So we have our serving jig and you wanna get the serving jig set up right to where it has enough tension. I got about 12 inches is my goal and I just want it to kind of peel off pretty easily but also hold enough tension to where if you have this in your hand, it's not gonna cut your hand. So that would probably be enough tension. And what I'm gonna do is lay this on here String on top, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this around. We wanna do this clockwise. And I've got the tag end of the string going to my right. And we're just gonna make about five passes through here. Five or six, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Take this string, cinch it down a little bit more. Okay, and then what we wanna do is I'm gonna lay this on top, we're gonna go ahead, serve over. We're gonna start serving over top of that. And you might find there's a little bit of slack in there, just a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna be able to cinch this down a little bit tighter as we go. So as we go through this, what you're looking for is a nice shiny like sheen to the serving. That's going to let you know that you're getting it tight enough. If you don't see that shininess, then your serving jig probably needs to be tightened down a little bit more. The tension knob needs to be tightened. So all I'm doing now, guys, is we're just making a serving all the way down this bowstring. So that shininess is gonna let you know that you're getting it tight enough, which is critical for this serving not to slide. So a lot of things uh, happen when a, there's a loose serving. That's actually why I'm having to reserve this bow. Cause from the factory, nope. So from the factory, 
the bow serving on this thing is a little loose and especially when I put a new D loop on it and cinched it down I don't know what happened it just kind of messed the whole serving up so that's one thing you want to look out for you know if you start to see your serving getting bad all you have to do is just just simple method invest about 15 bucks for a serving jig and you're gonna be golden I'm still holding constant tension on this tag end okay once you get about where the arrow is going through where your rest is you can go ahead and cut off this excess the tag end so I'm just cutting that off and that's gonna get that out of the way so we're not gonna have to worry about holding that anymore so we're just gonna serve over that And the critical part for my bow, because I find that the serving likes to slide up, I'm gonna add more serving above where the cable slide is just to try to keep that in place so it doesn't have any chance for moving. Nothing more annoying than a serving that's sliding up and down. It's gonna throw off your point of aim every single time once we get pretty much down to the end i would say about half an inch away from where i'm going to be ending my serving i'm going to go ahead and pull out about 12 inches keep in tension you don't want to lose the tension what i'm going to do is make a loop and then i'm going to set the serving jig up here so what I'm gonna have to do, since this peep is pretty low, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it over there. We're not gonna have to worry about that being on there too bad because what we're gonna do is called a back serving or a back serve. Once again, we're gonna be going in the same direction and we're gonna go about 12 twists around here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, once you get 12, we're gonna go through and we're gonna pull out another 12 inches. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda rest my tool over here on the side, but I'm gonna keep tension right here as well as tension right here. And what you're gonna notice is it's gonna start unspooling up here as it adds down here to the main part of the serving. Do not want to lose that tension down here on the main part of the serving. And all this is called is a back serve. Okay, because it's unraveling the serving we just laid down up here. And it might've been a little bit more visible if I had more space like I said, my peep's a little low, but you get the point anyway. We didn't have to worry about the serving getting laid down tightly up there. Okay, even though we're doing it by hand, I am doing this pretty tight. Even though at the end, we're gonna be able to cinch it down. I wanna ensure that's getting tightened as we go okay so once we get to the very end you can see i have the entire loop in my hand there is no more serving up here for the back serve what we're going to do still holding tension i'm holding tension on this loop and then i'm going to grab the main part that has the serving jig and then i'm just going to be pulling that through so i'm pulling on the end where the serving jig is and what that's doing is just pulling that whole serving that we just laid down. It's going to pull it to us and it's going to end up finishing off the serving. Okay. And I'm pulling that down really, really tight. Okay. I got this wrapped around my fingers and I'm pulling that down really, really tight. And that's going to ensure that serving doesn't slip. It doesn't slide up, you know, cause when you draw back a bow, 
you are putting a lot of tension on that serving as you're drawing it, you know, especially your release aid and how you draw the bow. It's going to be, you know, putting a lot of tension on that. And pull just a little bit more. All right. All right. And the next step, we're just going to have to cut off the excess here. So all I did was took my razor blade and I cut off the excess that we had there. So it left a little bitty fuzzy. All right, so we burn the fuzzy down and just take your finger and kind of tap it down. Yeah, and now we have a nice new serving on here. All right, and that's what we're looking for. You see how there's like a sheen to it? A very, very shiny tint. That's what we're looking for. And guys, we did this in probably less than five minutes total. Put a brand new serving on this thing that's gonna be protective for the string. And it's gonna give us a good base to put our new knocking point and a new D-loop on here. All right guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully you learned how to put a new center serving on your bow the quick and easy way. And I'm sure there's other methods and stuff out there, but this is what I was taught at an early age at how to put a new center serving on. And it's worked for me. Like I said, if you get a new bow string or you get a new bow, a lot of times the center serving won't be that great unless you get a really high quality string that's an aftermarket string, then they're really good most of the time. But this is something that you might want to start getting used to doing is putting new servings on your bow because you do have servings in different spots on your bow that you might have to replace. So I know the center serving is the one that gets wore down probably the most. So that is kind of what we focused on today. So please check out my videos though. We're going to be showing you guys how to put a new knocking point on as well as a D loop. So check those videos out as well. Guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, put those in the comment box below. I'd love to respond to any questions and things you have. All the equipment we use today, such as the serving jig, I'm gonna put the link to that in the description box so you can find one quick and easy. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, please check out my main channel page. You can find a lot of outdoor related videos over there and something that may not even be related to outdoors, you can find something on there. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in future videos.